Hi YouTubers, it's Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you with the topic of 44 Magnum Keith style lead bullets. So we just finished a casting session where we took a whole bunch of our ingots and converted them into these real clean castings. Now these are a bullet design by Elmer Keith. Now Elmer Keith was one of the pioneers of modern handgunning. And he's been gone for, for a fair amount of time now, but if you want to learn more about Elmer Keith, you can sure do a, a search on the internet and you'll find out a, a lot about this fascinating gentleman. At any rate, he designed bullets for Magnum revolvers. And the calibers that he designed bullets for was the 357 Magnum, the 41 Magnum, the 44 Magnum, and the 45 Colt. Now we'll talk about the 44 Magnum caliber here because this is what this is. This is a 200, 245 grain Keith semi wad cutter cast from the Lyman 429421 mold, of which this is it right here. Now we got done casting and we uh, coated this with ballastol and the ballastol keeps, from, keeps it from rusting and you'll see there's no rust on this. This mold is over 35 years old and it cast, it's casted a fair number of bullets, at least uh, I would say at least 30,000 bullets. And you'll see that there's no rust on it and with the ballastol it's very easy to degrease and burn out the ballastol for the next casting session. So this mold is going strong. But that's the, uh, the point of, of the bullet mold for the Keith Bullet is that you really can't go out and buy Keith Bullets because all the manufacturers will sell semi wad cutters in the Magnum calibers to bullet uh, reloaders. But they don't have the authentic Keith design. In fact, some of them may even say Keith style semi wad cutter, but if you look at the semi wad cutter, it's not really a Keith bullet. So what makes a Keith bullet? And why are these so good? Well, the Elmer designed his, his uh, bullet to have a fairly long nose so that a significant amount of the weight of the bullet is outside of the case which allows more room for powder. Now unfortunately this causes some problems for, for revolvers that have short cylinders or for lever action feeding because of, the, of the, the length of the bullet that's out of the case. But they work very well for revolvers that will take them and most will. Now there's a fairly wide meat plat for effectiveness against uh, game in hunting and a sharp shoulder to cut a full caliber hole in the paper target or the game that you're hunting. Because this bullet works by velocities anywhere around 12 to 1400 feet per second driving this heavy semi wad cutter that will impact and crash through cutting a hole that will allow the game animal the loss of blood 
And so these bullets usually shoot all the way through. Especially when they're cast hard, which all Keith bullets should be cast hard. And this can be accomplished by a higher tin and antimony con content, especially antimony, because the tin just helps it, helps it cast well, and the antimony hardens it, but also by water quenching. So by water quenching, we can actually use a little less tin and antimony to preserve our supplies of those precious alloys. So notice the, the, the solid base and the well-cut sprue hole sharp corner on the base. Now the Keith bullet has three wide driving bands so that the body of the, of the bullet, which is about half the length of the bullet, will stabilize the bullet in flight very well to give this bullet very excellent accuracy. Keith bullets are well known for being accurate designs. The crimping groove is beveled, not round, so this allows a precise crimping point and also fairly deep so that you can get a good strong crimp in there so that when this bullet is fired, when this uh, round is fired, the bullets won't back out the front and tie up the cylinder. So magnums should have a good strong crimp to allow for good, for good consistent ignition of the powder but also to prevent the bullet from from forcing forward under recoil. Then the Keith bullet has a very generous grease groove and Lyman produced this deep grease groove and this particular one is a round design which is not exactly what Elmer Keith designed. He wanted a square grease groove to hold more grease. But this works very well. If you buy the current 429-421 mold, these molds uh, for the Keith bullets are made by Lyman or Seiko or RCBS. Unfortunately, Lee does not make an authentic, authentic Keith mold. That's unfortunate. Now this particular mold will cost about $140 including shipping for what you see here right in your front door. So these molds are a fair bit more expensive uh, than buying Lee molds. This is a four cavity and the cavity throws 0.430 0 0.431, 0 0.431, and 0 0.430 from those from those cavities. So it's very very good uh, accuracy coming out of this mold. Uh, 44 Magnum uh, uses 0.429 bullets, and we could probably shoot this bullet without even sizing it. But I like to size the 429 for my Magnum loads. Now Magnum loads should be worked up to carefully, so. You don't want to, uh, to uh, go to maximum loads right away. Consult your loading manual. And um, my favorite load happens to be 10 grains of unique for uh, a, a load that will shoot around 1,100 plus feet per second. And the, the maximum load of 22 grains of 2,400 powder behind this bullet which is, the, is what Elmer Keith liked to use in his 44 Magnum. But once again, for you shooters out there, do not go right to these. If you're going to uh, go to these loads, work up to them to see and, and watch for safety signs and pressure to make sure they're safe in your, in your gun. So always be safe, be conservative, work up to the maximum load, um, and consult your loading manual. Just because someone tells you that, that there's a, a favorite load, uh, always uh, take that with a grain of salt and, and approach those loads with safety first in mind. So, uh, YouTubers out there, if you would like to give the Keith style bullets a, a try, you can buy these uh, molds 
in four cavity or two cavity and give them a try. You might like them quite a bit. Uh, it's difficult not to like Keith authentic Keith bullets for revolvers because they work so well. And I've been making these for over 35 years and they've been just wonderful to use. Uh, I've never been disappointed by disappointed by Keith style bullets uh, and I readily use them uh, for all uses, all purposes and they're, they're a great deal of fun. 245 grains Keith 44 caliber bullet for the 44 Magnum. So YouTubers take care. Good shooting to you. Bye for now.